everyone, welcome back to another episode of Super Hostile The Infernal Sky. As you can see, I'm back at the starting position, and it's raining because we finally have weather effects again. I've been waiting for this a long time. Patch 1.501, or patch 1.5, whatever you want to call it, since 01 is just bug fixes as far as I know. And uh, we have rain, we have snow, we have... Uh, boosters, we have buttons that you can place on minecart tracks. Unfortunately, I won't be showing most of that in this video since, well, we're still stuck on an island with hardly any resources. Uh, now that it's raining, though, I'm really interested to see if anything happens to the lava at all. It doesn't look like it. All the lava seems to be there, but perhaps we can get a bit closer. Also, I'm not sure. Uh, I think my difficulty is... Yeah, it's on peaceful. Uh, I've been building a lot, and uh, you'll notice something missing in this direction. You can see some trees, but there's not much else. Finally made all those bridges so I can cross this area without too much difficulty. And uh, I destroyed the entire mountain that had, like, the Eye of the Tiger song on it. Uh, what I did uh, was just take it down for all the resources to cobble the dirt an amazing amount of both of them. Uh, I got coal, uh, so I'm pretty much set for that, and of course a tree farm, and the rain disappears when we're in a cave, that's so cool. I did hear there's a bug that it goes through glass, but I believe that's actually already been fixed with 1.501. Also, we have something to celebrate, because uh, YouTube promoted, or whatever you want to call it, they... they gave us access to another future of YouTube on our CubeTubers channel, which is that we can now upload... Oh wow, no rain through threes. That's weird. We can now upload more than 15 minutes of footage at a time. So we'll be testing that. It uh, might be this video, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Uh, when I run out of commentary, the video ends. and uh, That's pretty much it. Uh, the lava doesn't do anything. I can see it flowing, so I'm close enough to make it like update those chunks but nothing's happening okay so um i m added some stair pieces to this house just to make the shape look less funny and as you can see that giant mountain that used to be here it's gone so no more beacon at spawn um i actually made those bridges during 1.5 but they appear to be kind of useless since now I actually have the bed spawn. I completely forgot that I had it, but yeah. Uh, my spawn is now in this house. I also have a pet squid in my little fishing river here. Because, uh, oh yeah, I caught a bunch of fish. Uh, I only have four left because I ate most for my health. Uh, my health didn't actually come back from peaceful mode. I just destroyed, let's see, two and a half rods fishing for fish. It didn't even cook them. I just ate them raw. Uh, still some iron here. I'll need to make iron picks soon. Uh, also, I have two of the colors of wool that I need to collect now. I don't know exactly how many there are, but I suppose we'll find out sooner or later. Now that's, it doesn't appear to be dark, it's really just the rain. Can I still see the sun when the rain's out? Nice scouting spot here as well. I might build a tower on top of this little building. Um, yeah, the reason why I didn't record all that digging and stuff is just, uh, it's really hard to do commentary during that. It's not very interesting to look at. Also, uh, I should mention that if you look at our playlists, uh, we have a new Let's Player in there. He's called, uh, Leader Grav, or Emp Grievous is his channel name. Uh, from now on, we'll be adding his videos to the CubeTubers channel, although you won't see them directly uploaded here, so you'll have to go through that play playlist to find his videos, and uh, we'd really appreciate it if you left some comments, some th thumbs up, thumbs down, constructive criticism, the usual stuff, uh, on one of his videos. I think there's two up so far, and uh, I, I really want to know if you guys enjoy his videos, because if you do, uh, he'll be uploading more of them, for you and he'll become like one of our little partners here because he's not actually a cube tuber but um, I think he has what it takes to upload some good YouTube videos so give him a chance see if you like him um, oh you can hear all the water fizzle that's sort of cool not sure if it's smart to go here but I sort of want to know if there's anything I can get to so to say seems to be a 
waste of my dirt though. I don't think burning would suck right now. There are some blocks there. It doesn't really appear to be anything important, like there's no chest with wool or anything. So I'm not gonna go there for now. Uh, I'll have to take like a water bucket and just pour it all over the place. That would allow me easy access to whatever's hidden in that lava. I assume it's just there so you can't get on that island easily though. But we can simply tower up and like, yeah, hold shift and build a bridge there. So it shouldn't be too hard. Our oh, crap falling damage. Why well, fish left? Gold can't get th w that without an iron pick. Also, I have to say it's awfully quiet. Like, there's no mobs anywhere. I guess it's still day, though, so it makes sense. But it just looks so dark and murky because of the rain. It's a bit, uh... How do you say? It's a bit confusing since you're just not used to it. But really enjoying the rain. It looks great. Especially all those little particle effects on the ground. It really adds to the atmosphere. Uh, I actually can't wait to see snow, because I used to love snow biomes when snow was in the game. <coughs> but when they removed snow, it was it just took away the entire atmosphere. There was no, no buzz left, no bang left. It didn't pop. It wasn't... It was just boring. And, uh, and the snow on the blocks that you had to remove before you dug through a block, that was just plain annoying. Also, the freezing lakes were not always appreciated in my book. This... Oh, I thought I saw a chest for a second, but no, it's all lightstone. No chest there. I'm glad the rain doesn't trigger the gravel, because this place doesn't look safe. I'd actually rather see it destroyed now than... Ooh, is that diamond? Wow! There's a giant boulder of diamond! Oh, God! Uh, these are safe, right? Wow, I'm gonna have to find a way down there. I'm not blind. Yeah, that is diamond. Unless the rain gives the screen a blue tint, which I doubt. Why isn't all this gravel falling? I don't feel comfortable having this here at all. Maybe it's a bug in 1.5. The chain reactions just don't work properly. Let's get on this block and hit this one. Should l Yeah, there we go. No, still not everything. It's like the updates, the chunk updates are a bit bugged, like nothing's falling. It should cause a tr chain reaction like that all over the place, but it's only taking a few blocks with it. I guess we could carefully try and dig down, although um, I have to be very careful not to... Yeah, stand on! Oh my god. Okay, there you go, we just lost all our stuff. Okay, I have a tree farm, I can... Oh my god, this sucks, I had so much dirt with me. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh god, you've got to be kidding me. I have to start all over again. I do have a bunch of cobble and stuff in my chest. And I have the wool. I have no wood, but I have trees outside, I have iron still have most of the dirt. Oh god, this sucks. Nine saplings, I have to place those. Well, let's start off by getting some wood, I suppose. Wow, this sucks. Now I'm depressed. Oh god. It's this rain. Rain is evil. Okay, I'm back. My computer freaked out a bit and not sure what that was about, but it's so incredibly hot in here. I think it might have overheated, so I gave it a little break, and I hope it's okay now. You might even be able to hear it on the recording, because right now, to me, it sounds like a freaking jet airplane. Uh, I don't have the quietest of fans, and it's going absolutely wild. Nevertheless, we're going to keep going. Wow, my frame rates are low as hell. Yeah, okay, that's low as hell for me, because normally I run about 300 on the multiplayer server. Maybe it's because it's 1.5. 1 1.4 might have... I don't know. Someone leave a comment. Could it be heat? 
because I'm worried. I don't want my computer to fry. For now, though, let's just finish up this video and get a basic supply of wood again and some pickaxes and the sword and all that. Plenty of cobalt to make my tools with, so that's not going to be the problem. I'm going to quickly go inside and make an axe so I don't have to cut all these by freaking hand. Because it takes ages. You, here, there, click, planks, stick, pss, and axe. There we go. Might also just make a sword, just in case I get attacked while digging out trees. Or cutting trees, whatever you want to call it. I would have never ever said that before Minecraft. Digging out trees. It doesn't make any freaking sense. And you can probably see why I didn't record most of this. Because even, you know, things like tree farms I usually cut out. But I'm just going to leave it in. See if I can stretch the video a, bit, a little bit over 15 minutes. And, uh... Yeah, you'll have proof that we can now upload longer things. And what I'm planning to do with that is upload, like, streams and stuff. And not uh, as normal videos. They'll, like, be separate. Like, you'll get a normal video. and uh, Even if I upload one of the streams. And I could just put an entire stream in one video, which would really rock. It would be so much easier to keep up with. Because right now I do like 15 minute sessions of uh, like an hour session of a stream. And then the video just cuts out like in the middle of it. And it's really confusing because you're just missing half the stuff that's happening. Well not really, it just interrupts whatever I'm saying. And I never really bother to end the videos mid-sentence. So it's sort of lazy on my part I suppose. Or I do end the mid-sentence. I never bother to actually let them end at the end of a sentence. That's what I'm trying to say. I also need a shovel, so one more cobble should do. I know I have iron. not going to bother with it for now until I actually need it. Now, I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do. I probably had an idea before... Oh, God, it's night out. Oh, that's just great. Let's run and see what happens. Oh, a zombie right next to my house. Might want to place a torch there then. Also, maybe a few on the roof. Oh, I lost all that coal, didn't I? Oh, that's going to sting. Lost all the darn coal. Let's replace these saplings, because we need them really hard. I'm going to actually try and see if I can do it like this. You can even grow four up against each other if you're patient enough, so... This should work, but they'll grow slower. I just want to see if it works. Um, so I'm going to burn some logs with logs, or actually burn logs with planks. It's more efficient. So I can get some coal. Like, we'll never have a shortage of either wood or coal with the tree farm. Which is beautiful, and on the other hand, it makes the game a bit easy. Also, what happened uh, with this patch, I suppose, uh, is that birch trees and stuff now have their own saplings and you can also use saplings and f as furnace fuel which is pretty neat now what am I going to do while waiting for coal I could go out and fight something but I just get myself killed again and I'd really like to have some torches before I enter any sort of cave here we go um, give me some of that wood please so I can make s more sticks uh, eight, twelve torches. There we go. <coughs> Let's see. Can't really place any more trees here. I do have to add the rest of the dirt here, but I'll probably do that off screen. It's not going to be very fun to watch. I imagine this isn't very fun to watch, but we're going to try to make it. Now, I know there's a cave right there, so this bridge is like placed really horribly badly. A if a skeleton shoots me there, I'm so screwed. But yeah, what do I know about safety? I am going to try and make it... Where's that spider sound coming from? I wonder. A bit safer. Also, I seem to have tried to actually get up there. I don't remember that, but okay, let's go with it. 
This way we can actually hit them if we need to. We should probably enter this cave, but I'd rather enter from the top than from the side. It would feel safer. So let's go and put a torch here. So we'll put one here for our safety. Or anything to spawn behind us. And then dig out this place here. And see if we get into the cave that way. It's always safer to go around than just, you know, go in from the bottom. It's a really bad idea in my experience. There don't appear to be any creepers or monsters for that matter, which is strange. I am hearing spider no noises, so monsters are in fact on. I'm pretty sure you can hear them as well. If I hit that gravel, it's probably going to screw me over. Well, we have some iron here, so I suppose it's what was ah, it was worth it, and the cave is now empty. So you don't have to worry about, oh god, oh god, that was stupid of me, I didn't think of that gravel falling. If the falling gravel wasn't bugged, I'd be dead right now. I would have fallen into the void, or, well, okay, it's just another cave. I suppose that's a bit better, but still, so close to death. It's just a tiny pit, though, like all this gravel here, it's all blocked off by smooth stone. One more torch. Let's see. Should, I'm not gonna punch that ceiling. I want this iron though. This is not a cave. Yeah, this is. Wow. This is huge, isn't it? Wait. Oh, this is. I thought it was like unloaded chunks, but this is just just the outside. It's no cave. Wow, I'm stupid. Um. What I'm actually going to quickly do is show you all the things that they added in this menu here, because uh, they added a whole bunch of achievements, uh, most of them I already got. I think it started out with this one, which was, you know, I to open your inventory and uh, get wood, make a workbench. It's basically like, sort of like a tutorial system with achievements, I suppose. That's what it felt like to me. It's a bit lazy that they in didn't just add the other tools. I mean, if they added a wood pick and a stone pick, how much trouble would it have been to add an iron and diamond pick? I mean, that's just laziness on Notch's part. I'm sure uh, that can involve a whole lot of coding. Um... Then again, it's really nice to have them, and those picks will be added in the future. We've been told we'll get more achievements in the future, so that's all cool, and it looks really nice. And there's uh, statistics, which for me are probably... No, actually, I can fly in 1.5, so these are actually legit stats. These don't count the multiplayer server. Apparently, I've played eight times. Basically, it's just everything you did in the game. What you broke, what, where you walked, how far you drove in a minecart. It's really cool. You can sort it by blocks and items as well. Uh, like, I can see how many times I used the iron pickaxe. Apparently, I used them 216 times. I used the stone pickaxe 1186 times, probably. Because of what I did here, I dug out the entire mountain. That really uh, got me a lot of stuff. I can still get ambushed from that roof, which doesn't make me feel very comfortable. Also, I have been given hope. Uh, I have been told there is grass on this map. Um, somebody even posted a comment about it. Like, oh my god, a 12 minute something, there was grass to your blah blah, and there was like a sugar cane. But I never really bothered to check where that actually was. I'm sorry whoever posted that comment. Uh, I love you for saying that anyway, even though you sort of spoiled the map. But I imagine that if it's anywhere, it's going to be down the side of one of these mountains. So we're going to take a quick look around. And if we can actually connect that grass all the way up there, it'll take ages to grow there. But we'll have grass in our base, and that'll allow us to have uh, pigs which will give us nice biggin. Uh, we'll have sheep for wool, which I guess would be kind of cheating, so shouldn't probably do that. Did you know there are hidden treasure chests? Yes, I did. I'm assuming there was one below this, just because it said that. Ooh, lapis lazuli. Chest there, actually. I don't think I ever picked that chest up, so I might want to go check that out. So let's walk around and see what's in there, if I can get there at all. It's going to take ages to swim back up through the waterfall. I should probably deposit my stuff before I go there. But for some reason I really can't be bothered. So, um, 
After this video is posted, you'll be laughing at me for dying twice because of my own stupidity. I guess your own stupidity is always the reason you die, though. You don't eat enough, or you... Drown, or something like that, and it's always you who gets you into those situations, so it's always your fault. You're always stupid. That makes me feel sad. Okay, um, let's see if we can... It was below this sand, wasn't it? I wonder how far I can go down. Oh god! Oh god! This was a bad idea. Why did I do this? Oh, it's gonna take a while to get back up. I can make myself a little road here, and wow, so much iron. I should definitely take some of this. Unless it's some sort of freaking trap. You just know it's gonna be. There's gonna be a skeleton or something in here. Oh no, it's solid! Oh my god, it's a solid iron meteorite ball thing. That is so sweet. Ooh, I found the grass patch as well! Awesome! Wow, talking about lucky. So we're gonna take all this red wool. If we fall down into nothingness with the red wool, I suppose we'll just spawn some in and cheat, because otherwise I can't finish the map. So we're gonna have to be really careful, because I don't really want to cheat, do I? Alright, all that red wool, I'm not gonna leave any... Um, I should probably just dig out this entire iron thing before I leave, though. I mean, this is amazing. It's completely solid. I expected it to be hollow and have, like, a spawner inside for challenge, but... I, you don't hear me complaining about this. This will keep me going for a while. Uh, with this, I can also get the diamond ball if I ever get to it, but it was at a tricky position. You know, last time I died, so, um... I'm gonna plan out a strategy before I go down there next time because I don't want to kill myself. I'll build like a neat bridge there or something so I'm completely safe. So I really can't be bothered to dig out all of this. It's gonna take ages so let's just move on. And if I ever need the iron I can come back here later. I'm gonna make a path over here. Seems like a smart idea to do. We're gonna get to the grass by using shift. Do you have any dirt with me? No, I didn't take any dirt with me. So we're going to make a stairway up from that place, which the dirt can go along. Ooh, this is tricky. I don't want to fall again. Let's hold that shift button tight and not drop gravel this time. So that's what killed me, I believe, if I remember right. So try not to... Wow, what was that? Was that a squid falling down into nothingness? Oh! Wh <laughs> wow, I'm dumb! I thought it was a creeper! I knew I was going to go to reeds. What the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> it was green, this. Doesn't mean creeper. Okay. So now we're going to have to make stairway up. Uh, most of it is done for us, I suppose. It goes all the way up here. Place dirt along the walls here. Then here we're going to have to make it go up in a sort of stairway-ish fashion. Because... Uh, dirt will only grow to adjacent blocks. I don't think it'll grow to a block if it's like more than two blocks high. Uh, so I have to make sure like it goes up evenly. I have to go around the mountain I believe to do that. So yeah I know this isn't dirt. I'll put the dirt on top of this when I get back or I'll replace it with uh, either way works. And then in like well let's say a thousand videos will have a nice field of grass. Sounds about right. A thousand videos. Oh my god. Okay, let me dig a stairway up here. <clears throat> and this is where the video should really end, because the commentary is dead. I'm going to probably finish making a road towards my base with uh, dirt so the grass can grow all the way over there and then I'll be like AFK in this map in a safe little box for a few hours so the grass actually goes somewhere uh... we can get there safely now we just need to figure out how to get over to that island though uh... might want to do that before I end the video let's see I think we're gonna have to go here that sounds like a good plan or looks like a good plan once again danger of falling down but, I am holding my shift button, I am describing what I am doing, literally. I place a cobble block, and another one, and another one, and another one. I'm holding shift tightly, so I don't fall down. Wow, my commentary is crap. So, 
goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have no clue how long it is. I hope it's longer than 50 minutes, though. Yeah, it, it probably is. Let's hope so. So yeah, next time we'll have a grassy field, or, you know, maybe in 500 videos. Bye-bye. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, uh, give constructive criticism, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that crap. Thank you, and check out Mgrievous' channel. Bye-bye.